Start first by uploading your file. Click on this button. You will see all the type of files that SI Wave can support, mainly IPC2581 and ODB++. Go to simulation, select impedance scan, and here you can select which lines you want to scan. Make sure if you have differential to select them also, extended, extended differential. If you select many of them, you can change the numbers you see here from this table. The, the nominal number are the expected value. 10% is the warning threshold and 20% is the violation threshold. Launch. Now we look at the results. You can now show the results. Hide everything display only the traces now you can see them anything you see in green these are the differential ones so they are around 100 anything that is this color cyan or blue these are the single ones 50 ohm you can also display the warning and violations this is how si wave filter all the lines so anything that's green it means it's very close to what you are expecting if it is in orange, means it's 10% more than 10% uh, or more than what you are expecting. The red, it means they exceed 20% uh, difference from what you are expecting. 